the dissociated hip twist is going to be about moving the lower body independent of the upper body without any external support to stabilize the upper body. So what Josh is going to do here is go ahead and get into roughly his setup posture. He's going to bring his hands across his shoulder. He's going to keep the upper body completely still and rotate his hips. The focus is not maximum motion. It's smooth, controlled movement. Like earlier exercises, we can give him sides like he's rotating in a barrel, and with pure rotation, he's not going to hit those. That's going to be dissociated hip rotation. The fast dissociated hip twist is going to be a lot like a previous exercise, where we're going to add speed to increase difficulty. So Josh is going to begin by getting in setup posture. He can bring his hands across his shoulders, and he's again going to focus on no movement from the upper body. But this time he's going to slowly wind his hips up into the backswing and quickly spin them the other way. I'm going to have him demonstrate that a few times, and I want your focus to be, again, how well he rotates without too much sway or slide, and the stability or lack of movement from the upper body. This is the dissociated hip twist with speed. The step plus hip twist is another advancement for lower body dissociation focused on speed. Josh will begin this again by getting into setup posture. He's going to bring his hands across his chest and his upper body is going to stay still. While here, he's going to lift his left leg or your lead leg. He's going to step down, and that step in contact with the ground is going to be the cue to quickly rotate his hips through. Let's watch him demonstrate a few of them. Great speed and control here. What I want you to notice is he does end up having a little bit of upper back movement, and that's okay because he's initiating the movement with his lower body and hips. You can take a break there. But the only reason his upper body is coming through is because he's so forcefully rotating his hips, his upper body is forced to follow it. This is the step and fast hip twist. The dissociated hip twist from the backswing position is key because it mimics initiating our downswing the way we do when we have a golf club in our hands. Similar to previous exercises, Josh is going to begin in setup posture. But he's going to then rotate his hips and upper back into the backswing. From this position with slow controlled movement, he's going to initiate the downswing with his lower body by driving his hips through. Backswing position, drive the hips through. Again, this is a slow and controlled motion, but what we're seeing is no movement from the upper body as the hips begin to clear through. This is a challenging one. You might feel some stretch and strain, which is fine. Just make sure to take an appropriate amount of breaks and focus on control. Thanks, Josh. That's the dissociated hip twist from a backswing position.